Hello, and this is the Nation. And in this video, I would like to share with you some of my experience of uh, Geomfo installation and how to use uh, Geomfo by Docker. So let's get to the first part, um, particular for the installation with Qt here. So if you just want to install Geomfo, it's simply easy, but if you want to install Jumbo with QD, there is some trick for it. Okay, um, so I make a script uh, for the installation. It's pretty easy. Just um, uh, source the script and it, it will be installed right for you. But let me explain uh, some of what I did in this script here. So you can get this script at a uh, following link here. So here you are. So first of all, uh, you use a sudo apt-get to update uh, the library or the link it's fine too. So um, you install the following um, library like uh, webgate and cmake and other stuff here. But notice here, I have like a compiler installation here um, that is somewhat not necessary if you just want to install Geom 4 but I found if you want to install the Qt particular for the 4.8 that's required for Geom 4 use a newer version like a G++ 7 it doesn't work <laughs> so uh, one way is to downgrade your uh, G++ version here. So here is the uh, setting I have here. And the second thing, second uh, pseudo here is for the requisition the Qt library here. And then you have to download the file by sudo so you you have a sub link to update your g plus plus and gcc compiler okay so this is a preparation then you get to build the qt 4.8.7 so this line is for just download the file and you untar the file then uh, then you execute this line. Um, normally, uh, you need to answer the question from the QE like this is, is this the version for open source or commercial use? But you, if you don't want to, uh, you want to skip this process, you can just uh, have an option like uh, open course and use the yes. Again, then make with uh, how many process call you have. This is a command for the getting maximum process for from your machine and sudo make install. And um, actually this is not necessary. Uh, so if you want, the, if you can set your pass uh, later on, huh? but if you want to other people to use or make it more easy to find out, you can use this uh, sudo make install. So after this part, you finish the Qt installation. Then we uh, want to uh, build a Geom4 with Qt. And you can see uh, up to here is quite standard. You build a um, kind of, you have some category for the files. And then you download the file, okay. Then I'm turning the file. Then this part is the CMake part. So, uh, so this here you have a lot of a uh, big D uh, definition setting here. Uh, the important thing is, for example, here I use a jump for set jump for a uh, set this jump for use Qt variable on, and in this. Uh, in this build, I also set the install data on. That means it will download a file for you. So you have to make sure you have internet access when you execute this CMake command here. 
and I link the Jianfo install data directory to this folder here. Uh, this is a folder where you your data will download to. And I also built the Jianfo with just single thread. The multi-thread mode is set to off. Um, this is my personal preference. Uh, I would use the single th thread mode to write a code first to test the process. And if that's okay, I will switch to a multi-thread mode. This would be not so terribly hard to switch back and forth. Okay, and I have the example here. And this is where your top most CMake files, sorry, CMake list.txt file located. Okay, so you install and and this at this stage step, uh, all the jump for installation will finish. But you still need to set up some environment variable like uh, you have uh, LD library paths you have to set up because you, your Qt is not located in your uh, original LD library paths. It cannot find the uh, QMAC for you here. So uh, if you call the uh, Mac install, you will, the QMAC is executable with located in this file, in, sorry, in this path. So you have to uh, add this to your uh, bash RC or equivalent file here. So it should be all, all set for you if you just run this script and you you have to have the pseudo um, privilege. In, otherwise you cannot uh, install this part here. But for the jump for you don't need um, sudo all right so let's go back here so this part will finish then we we'll talk about how to use uh, jump for with uh, docker okay so why we go for docker so to use docker um sometimes give you some advantage because the, you, you just need to download the image, Docker image. You don't need whole Jumpful installation process. It might take you a while to set out all the Jumpful. So think about this example. You write all your application finish, and you just want to distribute your application to other user. And other user probably need to rebuild the jump, build it, it's, is or her own Java system in order to run your application. It probably takes some um, time and some time frustrations. So uh, another way is to, okay, you have Docker image, you just build everything and your users just need to download this image and then uh, use this image kind of a, a sub blueprint to have an instance that's called container and you run this container and everything will be exactly the same as you build uh, as you, you you your environment is okay so this is a pros the comes is your user have to install docker first uh, which requires pseudo permission and to install Docker, it also requires a 64 bit machine. That means if you run older operating system with 32 bit, it doesn't work. And let's take a very quick uh, look at uh, how to use Docker. If, okay, so uh, after you install Docker, uh, actually, it's pretty easy to install. Like, I have some command here. Actually, you can see the reference, uh, just some step here, and you will probably finish in 10 minutes. Okay, depends on how fast your computer is. All right, so for the most important thing is to download the image. So you use a Docker, a poll, and this is the ID and the repository, and the, the name, the tag name here. 
and it, and this build is based on Ubuntu, uh, eighteen oh four, and in this image I have include the examples and the data, so it is quite large, and also some uh simple um the editor like VIM and Python also included and OpenGL. I try to ins include it with Qt, but it doesn't work very well and it make the image very large. So later, so I tried several times and I figured out I have to give up <laughs> this idea. All right, so this is the download part and what the content inside this image. To use it, um, you can either see the slides or just copy uh, the whole thing here to run it. So let me explain what it is. So uh, actually this is older one, but it's work the same. And it's a little bit complicated because in this version it doesn't I don't include the data, so you have to link the data uh, volume to it. So uh, it will be a little bit di different from the 10.06 version. So in this version, it has data, so you don't need to uh, include the volume from the data. And so you, you just need to do is, okay, like Docker ROM and uh, to uh, dash rm and it that means that uh, to remove uh, this uh, container app you add it to the program that will save your space or you just want to test you don't need to uh, leave the status on here then then it means iterate interactive that's me you can type something and you use the interactive mode here. And as I said, in this older version, I don't include the data, so you have to link data by yourself. Um, and the, the, the three line here is to display uh, the GUI because uh, Docker don't have, uh, I would say, you have to set up the link properly to in order to show what the GUI application. So first you have to create your X authority file, this file here, and link to the file inside this image here and set the net to the host the environment to display. Okay. And this part, okay, the next part here is the darker image. And then I, um, I, I built a jump for example here. The uh, the example file inside this image is located at uh, opt jump for src and its version jump for and example basic uh, b1. Okay, so if you run this, you probably will see the following uh, screen here. Is there is a terminal and a plum waiting for you you to type in. Uh, initially, you look like this, and you can set ROM being up 100, and you get a 100 particle to bombard uh, your object, okay? And you have see some electrons and pro proton and print out some messages for those deposition for you, all right? and. And unfortunately, this is a open GL, not QT. So if you want to move around and check a look, uh, you have to uh, use the command line mode. For example, you change the view angle point. You can set uh, VIS viewer, set view point, uh, theta and phi different angle here, or zoom in and you have to use a line here. So if you use Qt, you just um, you know, use your mouse to draw and, or pan it, so it's much easier, but <laughs> you, you need to, uh, I don't include Qt in a darker here. So 
This is all I have so far. Just some of short notes for jump for installation and how to use the darker uh for the jump for. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.